Hey there, in this video tutorial we will learn how to make use of the user page settings shortcode. Firstly, we need to understand why we need the user page settings shortcode on the front end. By using the shortcode, we can display the current user results history on the front end. So the user will know how many quizzes he or she has taken or what score he or she has got for each quiz. Also, with the help of this advanced shortcode, you can download your certificate right from the front end. Also, you can download the details like the questions with their answers from the front end as well. In order to make use of this advanced shortcode, you just need to copy this shortcode, then paste it to your desired post or a page. Don't forget to replace your quiz category ID with the current quiz category ID so that a shortcode can work for you. Let us discuss the options of the shortcode so everything can be clear for you. Here you can see the hide correct answer option. You can tick this option if you don't want to show the correct answers in the detailed report. Also, you can see the table columns of the shortcode that are displayed on the front end. As you can see, it has many different table columns like quiz name, star date, certificate, etc. What is important here is this table column. If you check the shortcodes tab and the user page settings shortcode, you may not find the country table column on your end. The reason for this is that we have achieved this table column with the help of the custom fields of the plugin. That means you can enable your desired custom fields to appear in these table columns. We scroll a little bit and we will find the custom fields page. We click here. So we need to add a new one. We click on the add new button. Here we can name our custom field, for example, it will be phone. In order to display the phone custom field on a shortcode, we need to tick the show custom field on your shortcodes option. We tick it. We can show the custom fields for these shortcodes. In our case, we need to tick the user page and save and close the custom field. As you can see, the font custom field has already been added to these table columns. So in order to display the font table column as well for the shortcut, we just need to tick this table column and save the changes. So it's high time to see the shortcut on a front end. For that, we just copy the shortcut then we go to the post page then we need to add a new one we add it and paste the shortcut here then we can add a title for the post like for example user page settings then all we need to do is to find the quiz category, your preferred one, and add the quiz category ID here. You can find the quiz category ID by going to the quiz categories page. In our case, we can choose, for example, the ID 3 for the personality quiz. So we just need to write 3 instead of your quiz category ID here. And we can publish the post. Here is the shortcut, the user page settings shortcut displayed on the front end. As you can see here, the quiz name is written as one table column, then the start and end dates for the quiz, then the duration for the quiz, details and the phone. This is the custom field we have ticked for the table column. So this is the current user's results history for the personality quiz. We can choose how many entries to display by changing the number from here accordingly. Also, we can perform a search within the shortcut table. What is important here is that we can click on the details button, then export the detailed report to PDF. 
it will export the start date, duration, score, rate and the questions with our answers. Here is the exported file. As to the font table column that is displayed as blank now, you will need to choose this field as an active one for the information form option so that the users can fill their phone numbers and the numbers will be displayed here. To find the information form option, you will need to go to the user data tab. Also, we can enable the certificate table column from the general settings page so that the users can download their certificates right from the front end. For that, we go back to the general settings page and tick the certificate table column for the user page settings shortcode, then we save the changes. After saving the changes of the general settings page and refreshing our post page, we will see that the certificate table column has been added to the shortcode. So all we need to do to download the certificate is to click on the download button. And here we can see the certificate. That's all. So we are done with the user page settings shortcode as well. See you in the next video tutorial.